Good day everyone. My name is Jijilin Velasco from SAS and Quezon City. So today, I will perform perineal care for female. Perineal care is bathing the genitalia and surrounding area. Proper assessment and care of the perineal area will need professional clinical judgment. The purposes of performing perineal are to keep cleanliness and prevent from infection and infection in perineal area. Second, to make him or her comfortable. The equipments that we are needed are the kidney basin, the seven dry cotton balls, and the seven cotton balls with antiseptic solution, the gloves, the towel, the sponge towel, and Macintosh, the waterproof pad, or the gauss, the pitcher with the warm water, and the basin. So let's assume that this is the bed one. Antiseptic solution. The chopstick. So let's assume that this is a picking forcep and working forcep. Gather all the required equipment. Organization facilities accurate skill performance. Explain the procedure to the client. Providing information fosters cooperation. So now, after preparing the necessary equipment, let's explain the procedure and treatment to the client and how, how she can participate. Provide the client the opportunity to ask for her concern and of course establish good rapport to the client so that she would feel un uncomfortable during the assessment and of course ask how the client and how she would like to be coupled. Good day ma'am, my name is Gigi Len Velasco and I'm your student caregiver for today. So ma'am, can I check your wristband? And please state your name and when is your birthday? Gigi Velasco, August 26. Okay, thank you. So what do you want me to call you ma'am? Okay, so Mom Gigi, the procedure that I'll be doing is that I'm going to perform the perineal care to you. This is to remove the normal perineal secretion odor and of course prevent some infections and contamination of your genitals. So I will be touching some parts of your body especially to your genitals. So, is that okay with you, mom? Yes, po. Okay, thank you. So, first, we are going to perform hand washing. If available, to prevent the spread of infection. Close the door and the curtains to protect the privacy of the client. I 
Um, do you have clarification or concern? Not so far. Okay. So as you can see, I've already closed the door and the curtains so that there will be no other people who can see us. And of course, to respect your privacy. Okay, in a bit, we are going to start the procedure. Okay. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So, ma'am, I'm going to position your leg if it's our circle. So now, break the facial exposure only the area to be clean, so minimum exposure, less than the embarrassment, and of course, to provide warmth. So now, let's in inspect the perineum and flush at the perineal area with warm water. So not for any particular inflammation, swelling, excessive discharge, or secretion from the aphrase and, of course, preference presence of odor so warm water is used to prevent the chill the chill and dissolve the blood clots so now get the cotton balls with soap in cleansing solution using a pickup forceps to maintain the sterility the sterility so let's assume that this is the working forceps So now, cleanse the external genitalia starting from the midline of symphysis pubis down to the anus. Midline to the anus. Don't forget to never retrace a stroke to prevent the contamination of the area. So now with the second cotton balls, cleanse is starting from the monk's pubis in a figure of 7 by way of external labium towards the anus. Then discard the secretion that tend to collect around the labia. Facilities bacterial growth. So now do likewise on the opposite side by the next cotton ball. So now with the fourth cotton cleanse, starting from the monk's pubis in figure of seven by way of external labium towards the anus then discard.
So now do the likewise on the opposite to the next cotton ball. So with another cotton ball, clean some clean some groin starting from the groin going to the tie. After the time use other side of the same cotton balls for near groin. Then do the likewise. So, <clears throat> so now, let's flush the perineum thoroughly with the warm water. So now, using the seven dried cotton balls, dries the perineum with the same stroke as above so moisture supports the growth, the growth of the many microorganisms. Remove the bed bun gently and turn the patient aside. So, if necessary. Take one cotton ball and cleanse one side of the buttocks. Then clean the other side of the buttocks and dry both buttocks to provide the comfort. So now let's turn the patient on her back and make her comfortable so spray with antiseptic as needed. now this is to promote healing so put the perineal pad with the up down motion as needed to prevent the contamination of vagina and urethral from the anal area so now this does the after care after care of the materials use and don't forget to hand washing so now let's record the treatment done to the patient and discharges observed for the document purposes that the procedure was done and, mean, and means of communication. Thank you.